Hey guys, Simbellas here. Welcome back to a brand new video. So I pulled up a poll the other day asking you guys what you would like to see next after my latest video. And the most votes went to a tutorial. And I really wanted you guys to tell me what kind of tutorial you wanted to see. And I got no response, but that's okay. I always come up with an idea. Now, I've been thinking about making a one, two, or not just like two, three, or four part series of beginner building tips. So if you guys would like to see anything except building, you might want to see more on cheats, more on creatism please let me know so i can start you know planning out something and then i can do a tutorial for you on that but okay so as i mentioned i'm gonna start a two-part series maybe more on just some simple beginning builders tips you know for those who are beginning to play the sims 4 and who doesn't know where to begin or what to do or what to do to make your house look very nice and that's why i'm here for part one we're gonna focus on four things okay so first thing is gonna be pools okay where do we find the pool okay so over here at the left corner you have your your user interface okay so the whole thing down here is your ui and everything you want to use you're going to find down here so over here we're going to go to pools and foundations so we're going to click on pools and foundations and then you will see you have options of pools so over here is your normal pools over here is the trim to put around your pool over here is your fountains and below that is your pool trim okay so we're gonna start off by clicking on the first option over here which is the pool tool okay so we're gonna wherever you want to build your pool you just simply hold in your left mouse button okay and then you hold in drag and release your mouse button and that's how you create a pool okay and after you have a pool you can go ahead to the pool trims down here and you can select a nice pool trim that you would like to put around your pool now you have different colors different swatches as the sims community love to call them different swatch colors that you can put around your pool or just for any item in general so we're gonna click on a color and then we're gonna just hover over the pool and then we're gonna click select okay so there you have your pool trim on your pool before we go over to the fountains i would like to show you the option right over here the log with the plants and the little i don't know just a little water decoration down here we're gonna click on that over there and then you're gonna find different ways of how you can make your pool look like so here we have different water types so you can take this you can take whatever pool you know any water type that you want you can make it grungy full of petals purpley water mossy water which i love to use for fountains and stuff and then we have this is my favorite i love this what is this called this is the swimming in sparklies water type now we're gonna use that water type and then we're gonna go down to pool objects now we're gonna click on pool objects and over here you can find your lights for your pools if you're struggling to place a light from on top of the pool then you just go a floor down by pushing page down on your keyboard or you can go up here to this and you can go up and down the levels of your floor clicking those arrows then by holding in shift you can just click 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 to add your lights okay and then you're gonna probably want to add a ladder even though in the sims 4 it's not necessary to have a pool ladder because sims can climb in and out without a pool ladder whatsoever that's very very cool very sad because that means you can't drown your sims anymore but you can still build something around the pool to um you know kill your sims but that's for the sadistic players okay if you're not that type then you're not that type okay so yeah ignore what i just said about killing the sims anyway and except for the pool letters you also have like these pretty things that you can put in here like you can put that in there you can put a turtle in there you know make your pool nice and fancy all right and then we're gonna go back to the option over here so we're gonna take the first one again now the rest of these are seriously what you can just play with and learn to use i'm gonna teach you the 
basics and that is what my tutorials are about beginners basic guides and tips and whatever so we're gonna go here with the same fashion we're gonna draw the fountain like so now you will see the difference between a pool and a fountain is the fact that the pool is much deeper than the fountain you can see how shallow the fountain is you can see how deep the pool is this is a fountain you're gonna go down here to the fountain trims remember this is not a must it just makes it look so much nicer you click on the fountain trims and then you're gonna put on a trim for your fountain now i think that's absolutely gorgeous now you're gonna go here to outdoor decor again over here to that little log over there and then you're gonna go to the to the lily pad the pond objects and then you can add some nice additives to your pond or your fountain now the pond tool mind you is different than the fountain tool this that we have here is a fountain the pond tool is something i will show in part two okay we're only focusing on the fountain for now but just now you can put a lot of things in here that will make your fountain look pretty legit and not just cute things you can put little miniature fountains in here when you go on live mode then you will see there's water coming out of here and then you can also go to fountain decorations and you can use these fountains now these guys will sprout out when you go into live mode some of them already kind of shows you what they do unless that's an update that they changed i don't know but i recommend building a fountain when you can still go into live mode to see how the fountain and sprouts up and down and whether you like it or not that is the main basics for the fountain and the pool don't forget you can also paint the inside of your pools just whatever you want and even the floors of your pools and your fountains going over to the next tip of this tutorial part one we're gonna check out what you can do with roofs okay so let's just take this roof away so you're gonna go here down to the roof okay on the house in the ui you click on your roof that you want you place it down now remember you can play with your roof just as you want to with these arrows you can curve your roof you can adjust the overhang and whatever and then you can make it longer or shorter depending on the size of the house okay then i want to show you over here on the roof pattern option right here okay you can choose what pattern you want on your roof it's totally up to you what you want to use but the main feature i wanted to show about your roof is this thing right over here your roof trims okay we're gonna click on the roof trims and then you'll see all of these options down here now the same with the pool trims we're gonna click on one and hover over the roof okay and then you just click you can delete your roof trim wallet if it's on there just by clicking clicking on the sledgehammer tool and then you can choose something else let's say we want to use a pink trim we're gonna use a pink trim by choosing the pink swatch down here i'm just mentioning roof trims because that's a big thing that will make your roof just stand out so much nicer okay and then we're gonna go over to my favorite part which is the foundation oh an interesting fact you guys these stones that you see all around your neighborhood your sim can go ahead and dig those up for some hidden trim treasure gems whatever so that's just a tip for gameplay if you guys want to see some tutorials on gameplay let me know because i will do that with love okay on to the foundations in order to place a foundation okay i know when you go down here this says foundation but this is only to color your foundation okay so we're gonna go here in a minute but well, first you go to your walls and your empty rooms option which is right over here next to the door and then you're gonna go here to either the flat squares or this l-shaped square or you're just gonna build a room okay so over here you have your room let's just take the walls down a bit and you can just click on your room you see this big option over here you hold it in and you drag it up and release with your mouse button and there you have a foundation which is awesome and then we're gonna go into this one over here and add on to our existing foundation and then as you can see we literally just created a porch which is kind of cool and then you can still extend your house on the foundation which is very very cool you know what i think i'm gonna put this roof on here you know because it's annoying me yeah okay so we have a roof on our little experimental house let's just maybe bring this forward because that's annoying me as well okay what i showed you earlier is going down here to the foundations you can choose which type of foundation you want so you just click on it hover over your foundation 
and just click okay you see now our house has a little foundation to it you can even use these foundations which are very cool if you want a house on stilts then you can have a house on stilts it's your choice and over here we're gonna go to the stairs and the ladders and then over here is your stair option this is for the high stairs and the short stairs okay and then we're gonna and if you go to ladders here's your ladders okay I will put that in one of the parts of the tutorial as well. So over here, we have a nice variety of staircases. So you must notice at first, if you use your staircase just as it is, it's going to adjust to the height of the wall that you currently have for your house. Now, if you see here, if you place it over here, it's not going to adjust because it's not against your foundation. So we're going to pick it up again using this option over here. And then you're going to place it against your foundation so you can either either place it this way or you can place it this way it totally depends on you and you can also pull it bigger just a little tip if you want to change the swatch of the staircase you will have to use a different stair and get rid of the one that you just placed okay and for the last thing that i wanted to show for this part is the round walls okay now the rounded walls is something i haven't used yet okay i have used it like once but i didn't really elaborate on it yet but anyway okay first off you're just gonna click on your wall section you're gonna go right to here the rounded rooms let's go maybe for the smallest rounded room now we're gonna place this guy down okay and then you have beautiful round walls which is something the sims community has been asking for a long time now for those who are new to the sims 4 and you can either place another one down right next to it to create you know kind of a half circle and by rotating it like i just did you're, you're gonna click on these keys on your keyboard okay to rotate them and just simple delete to delete them and then you're gonna click on here to adjust it even further you see what i just did there you can just adjust them as you want to by just clicking on the sections pulling them and forming them to the way you want them and the other thing that i also wanted to show about the rounded walls is how to roof them okay so we're gonna go to our roof section again and then we're gonna choose the perfectly circular roof because you have a circular roof so we're gonna click on here drag it until it is as big as it's supposed to be we're gonna bring the overhang down so you see and then you have your rounded room roofed okay if you want to see how this will look like against your house let's do that quickly pick it up rotate place pick up and place so now we have this against our house over here now if you don't really like how your roof is standing out like this you want it to go into the other roof and it's maybe just annoying you a little bit you can use this a normal gable roof okay i mean sorry a normal hipped roof then you can place it over here and then you can pull it over bring it over to there and bring it right through the other roof and then you just adjust and play with it until you have it until it's on the point where you like it so i would just do this i would just make it like small so you can just see at least a little bit of roof sticking out over here so it doesn't look so empty between the one roof and the rounded roof you see just so you have a little something between you know something that fills the gap over there and i are just going to implement the rest of the foundation around here by clicking on the eyedropper tool up there clicking on the thing that you want to duplicate and then you're just gonna click on the rest of the foundation duplicate the colors of the roof and then we're gonna give it the same color go to our roof trims again choose our pink roof trim whatever you want to use and there you have it you guys so and you could also play with the other rounded roof options like some of these actually look very nice on a perfectly rounded roof like it's totally up to you and whatever fits fits okay but anyway you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this i hope you guys learned something from this give this video a like if you did and subscribe if you want to see more and if you're new to building in the subs for stay tuned for part two anyway you guys thank you so much for watching i will see you all in the next one bye <laughs>